Thank you for joining me once again. So in this episode, we're going to fix the issues that I had with Blade, and it wasn't quite wide enough, and it was not the design that I wanted, so we're going to take this back to the uh, beginning, and uh, we're going to make ourselves a couple of new pieces of blade steel. So, cue montage. montage is over and I have two pieces of blade steel knife. I remade both blades so first on the original drop point blade I thought that there was weld beads still on the spine and that turned out not to be the case it turned out to be uh, some issue with the steel I made that piece quite a while ago however I decided to redo a billet and just make them both CPM 3V core so that's what we have and this is a new drop point blade and uh, the new method that I'm using of putting it in the kiln and letting it soak in there for about an hour and a half has really really helped it has made this steel um, way easier to work with still improving my method for making this kind of laminate and I don't think I'll ever stop improving it this is some pretty complicated stuff to make, uh, but I dare I say I was quite successful. So, these have been uh, annealed. Now it is time to surface grind them, set up some flat, smooth areas, and then we can really start putting together these folding knives, and I'm really excited for you guys to see the pattern in here. See a little bit, I ground the edge on this one just a bit and it, it just looks really cool.
So after a little flat grinding, did a test etch. You can see that CPM 3V core. And we have quite a bit of activity. So now it's time to do a little rough grinding. Part of the reason I am rough grinding right now is to make sure that I get the 3V core in the center of the piece. Uh, so if I rough grind it now, I can center the 3V core on the knife. And if it's off center, then I can grind down one side and not have to worry too much about losing too much material. So, the cores are very, very, very centered. I'm actually really happy with them. So I'm just going to rough grind them to make sure that they will stay centered through the whole process. After some fun montage work, did a little rough grinding on these, a little test etch to make sure that our cores are nice and centered, and they are. Now I want to show you this. This is why I make these little templates. Because I can see exactly where a templated blade is going to intercept any other part of the knife. And then that way I can design exactly a backspacer how I want it. That one. Just like that one. And to these, even though they're silly and not exactly, you know, precision technology, they have been proving themselves to be invaluable. And I can tell where I want to put my pivot. So, this is going to be quite a bit of drilling as they've been annealed, but the cores in these are 3V, so they will still be a bit tough. I'm going to do a little bit of punching to make sure I get all the holes centered. And for right now, you're not going to see any of the really beautiful pieces that go on the handle. Because all I'm doing right now is working with the liners. Making a functional knife. And then, after that is done, we will add on all of our beautiful materials onto the liners. And this way, I don't really risk ruining any of my really beautiful expensive materials. I just have to get the liners right. And the liners are just standard, normal titanium. They're not cheap, but they're really not expensive. Not nearly as uh, intensive in terms of uh, labor as the titanium Damascus that I made. I'm gonna get punching and uh, jump on the drill press.
have these roughly assembled just to give me an idea of how everything fits together it will take quite a bit of grinding and time to get everything flush and flat and square but this is a really good start and I'm really happy with how these are looking I'm gonna get the functional part of these done first uh, before I start adding all of the beautifying pieces everything is going surprisingly smoothly from here did have to redo the blades so I did have to reforge the blades but the end results totally justify doing that I mean this is just looking gorgeous I want to thank you once again for continuing to watch let's make a knife really excited to uh, be making some awesome knives with you guys this one is looking fantastic I'm really excited about these folders just being able to forge that material myself is quite amazing and I am really excited to do some more projects and some very exotic pattern welded steels and lots more of the titanium Damascus or pattern welded titanium this is coming along very nicely I am very very happy with how both of these blades are turning out I cannot wait to continue this build with you guys I want to thank you for watching and uh, if you like what you see please like my video and subscribe if you want to continue watching me build awesome stuff lots of builds planned all the way into the new year thank you once again for continuing to watch these videos I hope that they have been uh, inspiring or interesting or just uh, kind of a curious watch. You have a, a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you next time on Let's Make a Knife.